What's going on guys? Gabe with Fabi Door AMC trading at 3560 with a decent amount of volume for the time frame breaking 86 million. We look at the minute chart, we get excited. But then with excitement comes those very down moments when people just start losing their mind. Kind of like a specific YouTuber we know. We go on to the four hour chart and guys, we could see a couple of things. We could see the RSI after being in a severely oversold condition, making its way back up to 50. In order to continue a bullish trend, we would like the RSI to remain above 50. We have the convergence of the MACD and signal line, which is something we want to see. We also want to pay attention to the histogram. And this here, guys, is what you see, you know, these uh, mountains in reverse. We have some green here on the histogram, and this is when we were going up in price. As we look at this histogram, we can see a couple of things. One, we're seeing that the red is getting lighter and that the peak is getting flatter. This is indicative of a reversal. We will obviously confirm that with price action, utilization is fairly high, near 93%. Now, what does this mean? This means that there's a great amount of interest in short selling. And ideally, we would like this utilization to reach 100% because that's overcrowding. Ooh. We like overcrowding. Let's look at the Russell 2000 index because guys, AMC is heavily weighted in this index. Now, what we can see here is in this index at or about 1020, the Russell index hit a peak. Now, if we go back to the chart here, the AMC, and let's go to the minute chart. We could see that at or about this time, AMC hit a reversal. And if we go back to the Russell guys, this is exactly what happened. You guys have to consider all outside influences outside of the shorts and the hedgies. Yeah, we want to burn them alive, but don't panic. Please don't panic. I want to talk about what happened earlier today because Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell testified in front of Senate Banking Committee saying, hey, you know what? We're going to keep the easy monetary policies. We're going to keep them going. And the reason why they're going to keep this going is because guys, we're in a recovery, right? So we're banking on the fact that the recovery provides stability. Now let's talk about you as apes because you guys are the legs in the game, right? You guys are what keeps this thing moving. We buy, we hold, and we buy some more. Now I talked in previous videos about how we were pretty much stagnant right and we and we saw that with the volume just becoming fairly anemic but things are not what they seem you know we talk about the hedgies putting a lot of uh, uh selling pressure on the stock right and you see the fud and, and and you know you just start getting worked up right and your confirmation bias man it's garbage I'm just going to blow your mind really, really, really quick. And uh, Apple Jacks is going to come in for the assist here. Now, this is a checkerboard illusion. Apple Jacks, what if I told you that checkerboard A is the same color as checkerboard B? I would not believe you. But guys, I'm going to show you something. And this image, it's nothing special. It's a JPEG. It's opened in Microsoft Paint. So you guys know there's no... uh you know, no Fugazi going on, right? No movie magic. But guys, check this out. We're going to take A and simply drag it to B. And what do we have there? Now, it, it has a lot to do with just your eye being an imperfect instrument. We're going to go ahead and just move it back. And you guys can see, like, <laughs> no movie magic here. Now, let's talk about the science in this. We have a German physicist. And um, basically... He talks about the eye having to use a best guess, right? Because it's an imperfect instrument. And the best guess is basically taking raw stimuli, which is the light source that comes into the eye, and referencing it against past data, right? So your brain's just going ahead. It's, you know, working out the formula and it's just like, uh, mm, not the same color. So what causes the illusion? Well, Addison's checker shadow illusion is therefore a result of a failure of our inductive inferences to line up with the world. We essentially come to a false conclusion. This is powerful, right? Because we make conclusions based on what we see and we make inferences based on past references that, you know, are catalysts to 
our present moment's decision making. Basically, this is how the hedgies are essentially using the chart in fear because they know that you as a human have past references where maybe you lost a lot of money or you didn't have a lot of money or maybe you got bills to pay or something like that, right? With money being a limited resource, we, we, we were terrified. We were wondering how we were going to get it. And what that's doing is it's compounding that fear based on just that inference. And it's like, will AMC go down? Should I sell? This is scary. But what's interesting is, guys, is a lot of you have no previous experience in the stock market. You know, you guys come to us on YouTube, you know, for that positive inference. And that's why we're here, you know, to coach you through this. I'm not going to predict a hundred bucks. I'm not going to predict, you know, a squeeze next week. But what I can say is that we are in the meat of it all. Over the course of this video, look what we saw with the AMC, 36.45. So guys, we just buy, we hold and we buy. And don't let bias based on previous experiences and fear control your present moment because it's going to strip you up the tendies. And the hedgies know this. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. Make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button. Leave a funny comment down below. I gotta go and be uh, Jennifer's boyfriend, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, I just got so caught up in that ending there, guys. I forgot to say peace. So peace.